is my copy of the Constitution. And I'm going to stand here with our founding fathers who wrote in the preamble, we hold these truths to be self-evident. That's awesome. <laughs> he's holding it up as he says it. Of course, that line is the opening of the Declaration of Independence, not the Constitution. So wait a minute. Are you saying that it is um, uh, that Muslims have to prove there there has to be some loyalty proof? Uh, yes, to the Constitution of the United States of America. Well, would you do that to a Catholic or would you do that no. to a Mormon? No, nope, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Of course, it's funny that Cain says Muslims must prove loyalty to the Constitution, since the Constitution says, "quote." No religious test shall ever be required as a qualification to any office or public trust under the United States. We need to reread the Constitution and enforce the Constitution. There's a little section in there that talks about life, living, and the pursuit of happiness. That line, of course, comes from the Declaration of Independence. Warned us that that they weren't going to be taking away our arms uh, by reading those bills and, and uh, making sure as he's riding his horse through town to send those warning shots and bells that uh, we were going to be secure and we were going to be free. It's implausible for Revere to have ridden a horse while ringing a bell and firing multiple warning shots from a front-loading musket. All I have to say is, prepare to eat historical reenactments. First, we insert a farthing to activate my steed. There we go. Hey! Hey, British! Hey, British! You! You, the British are coming! Here's a warning shot! Okay! Now to warn the next town, the British, that they're on their way, I just have to reload. Just have to I'll crash. Bachman said that the Founding Fathers worked tirelessly to end slavery. In fact, many of the Constitution signers owned slaves, and the document famously referred to slaves as counting as three-fifths of a person. Bachman also said the Constitution only requires you to fill out part of your census, PolitiFact.org rated that quote a pants on fire. And while not strictly a constitutional error, Bachman lost a little credibility when she said the battles of Lexington and Concord happened in New Hampshire, when of course they were in Massachusetts.